So this video was shot entirely using the Insta360 X3, which in my opinion is the best consumer 360 camera out there at the moment, especially for travel videos. And for the last shot of the Northern Lights, I did use the one inch 360 edition to get the best possible footage in low light. That's not to say that the X3 is no good in low light. And to prove it, here's a shot I taken of the stars in Northern Lights using the X3. The accessory I used the most was definitely the Best360 monopod and I used it mainly in two different ways. The first way was mounting the X3 on top of the monopod. I could put it down somewhere, walk around hands free and reframe it later. If it was windy then I could extend the tripod legs further and this would reduce the chance of my X3 getting blown over by the wind. The second way I used the Best360 monopod was to use the selfie stick independently, extend it to 150 centimeters, walk around and make it look like a cameraman is following me. I used the Best360 magnetic camera mount to capture the epic roads around Iceland. It literally takes one second to pop on your car hood or roof and in editing you can speed up the footage to get an epic time shift shot. When it's just too windy to put a monopod down, then I used the Best360 camera clamp instead. This is a tiny but mighty clamp which will make sure your 360 camera is going nowhere. And once it's mounted, I can confidently leave my 360 camera alone and let it capture the beautiful scenery. To capture the bumper shot of the car, I used the Delkin three-way suction cup mount. And I've used this many times in many different countries, but Iceland was the first time where the suction cup started to fail and that was probably because of the temperatures which were between 0 and minus 15 degrees. So if you're going to use this suction cup, make sure you are using a safety tether to ensure it does not fall off. Last but not least, I used the Best360 camera backpack to put all my 360 cameras and accessories in and I also used the selfie stick holder on the side of the backpack to capture epic bird's eye view shots. So here I have the Best360 150cm selfie stick attached to the counterweight which is in the pocket which will give it more stability. These two locks will hold the selfie stick in place securely so now I can extend the selfie stick to 150 centimeters and using this mount I was able to capture myself climbing the plane whilst being hands-free. I've also used this backpack going to many countries and I've had zero issues at airport security carrying the Best360 monopod, the magnet and the clamp. The video was edited in Premiere Pro, so if you want to learn how to reframe 360 video in Premiere Pro, then check out my Best 360 Academy. It's basically a set of online courses and help and support from myself to help you master your Insta360 camera. So I'll leave a link to the Best 360 Academy in the video description. If you want to get any of these 360 cameras or accessories for your upcoming adventure, then check out the links in the video description. If you have a question, then drop them in the comments and I will answer them as soon as I can. Subscribe for more awesome 360 tutorials and I will see you in the next video.